This video clip is going to go into just the process of DNA replication. How a single DNA strand goes through the process to make a copy of itself as the first step of both types of cell division. So the first thing that's going to happen is our chromosome is going to split. So we have in our existing chromosome, remember following those base pairs, we have our A's connected to our T's, our C's to our G's, all the way down the strand. Now, it's going to unwind, it's going to unzip. It unzips by an enzyme coming through, cutting all of these hydrogen bonds, and pushing them away from one another. This results in two single strands with free-hanging bases. Now, these free-hanging bases are going to attract free-floating nucleotides. So remember that the nucleotides is one sugar, one phosphate, and a base. So in this case, a thiamine is going to come in and attach to that adenine. Okay? And all the way down our strand, we're going to have our sugars and our phosphates bringing in bases. The guanine is going to attach to the cytosine, adenine to thiamine, cytosine to guanine, all the way down our strand. Now it's going to happen the exact same way on the other strand. So to this thiamine, an adenine is going to come in and attach. A cytosine, a guanine, a thiamine, guanine, and an adenine. They're all going to bring with them their sugars and their phosphates, and they're going to connect across the middle with those hydrogen bonds. So now we have two identical strands of DNA. Now these are going to be connected together at the centromere. So we have our original strand, and then we have our second strand. They're hooked together at the centromere. These are called sister chromatids, and they are absolutely identical. Okay. The genes are the same, and the alleles are the same. You'll often hear me refer to this as chromosome 1A and chromosome 1B. They're exactly the same. Okay. We simply use those notations so that we know which one we're talking about. So, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. Each of these would be copies of chromosome 1A. Then our chromosome 1B, our second one, is going to be two copies of 1B. So all of the chromosomes are going to go through this. Remember, you have two copies of each chromosome, but the genes are different. Okay? When you make the sister chromatids, those genes are identical. So the sequence that's right here and the sequence that's right here are absolutely perfectly identical because it is the sister chromatids that are identical. Now again, this is that first step in cell division, okay, the process by which DNA replicates itself. The next two video clips will show meiosis and mitosis, the actual division of the cells.